All right, and this video shows 11 of the motors uh, with different things attached to them. Uh, most of this either came from a clock shop. Uh, there's a couple of parts on here from a, a German cuckoo clock, which uses uh, metric bores. Uh, the rest of this is from a hobby shop. Uh, there are parts from radio-controlled helicopters and cars. So we'll start down here at the end. There you've got a 3 millimeter bore brass pulley with a set screw going around a Tamiya pulley. Then you've got a miniature stainless steel universal joint coupled with a piece of uh, aluminum. That's KNS aluminum from the hobby shop. And down here, now these don't have any power to them, but this is a press fit. A little plastic pulley out of a tape recorder. And that works really nice, by the way, if you're looking to limit your torque. That'll allow something to slip if you get the, you know, something jammed. Here's one with a stainless steel gear on it. This thing was designed to go on a Mabuchi motor for a model airplane, and it's got a perfect 3 millimeter bore. Uh, then down here I've got gears that belong in a radio-controlled helicopter driving a, a counter gear. Uh, here's a shaft extension with KNS tubing and KNS brass going into a ball bearing mounted in this block over here just demonstrating how you can lengthen the shaft to any length you need. Then I've got two propeller adapters here. One with a set screw right here and the other is collet style that pinches the shaft. They both work very very well and you can immediately convert. Uh, this is a Boston gear with 48 pitch so any 48 pitch gear so you immediately go on from a European motor uh, with a metric shaft to a gear that's uh, US. Very easy to find uh, in the radio control cars department at just about any hobby shop. And then right here is a stainless steel pulley off of a sewing machine that's mounted on there, three millimeter bore, uh, stainless steel gear. And then this gear is similar to the helicopter gears. Those are uh, metric pitch, but down here this is a uh, standard American uh, 48 pitch, but with a metric bore, so it's kind of a weird animal. There's a lot of weird stuff uh, up at the hobby shops. Um, but anyway, that in one step, just by tightening that set screw, you've got uh, 48 pitch. It's a bit, this white one's also 48 pitch. So uh, I had a couple people send me emails that said, well, with a metric shaft, I'm limited to what I can put on there, and this is basically proof that no you're not. Actually there's probably more options available. Uh, anyway, here's a stock drive products uh, universal joint that was designed. Uh, that should be on the outdrive of a radio controlled boat uh, but here it is and it's got one of these adapters. I'm going to be selling these as well. This is a precision machined adapter uh, with an inside bore of 2.98 millimeters so it presses onto the shaft and you can turn it up like this and shake it and it'll hold itself on there before you even tighten the set screw. It's really nice. And then the outside of that is uh, 249. So you can fit a quarter inch device on there. And basically that's what this is right here. You can see the adapter down in there with one set screw. And then there's two set screws up here on the hub of the uh, universal joint. Uh, then up here, that is a Boston Gear uh, sprocket and it's driving a piece of ladder chain over here and uh, it's just loose on there and they're all receiving about I don't know five volts and I'll, I'll go ahead and crank the voltage up so you can see them run faster universal joint brass gear US pitch stainless gear US pitch pulley uh, brass gear with uh, metric modular pitch, shaft extension, and then two propeller adapters, miniature universal joint, and then a pulley out of a cuckoo clock. So I got a lot of stuff going on here. And then let me show you this. Here's a, uh, another three millimeter adapter. That's the collet style. Um, this one's a little different in that instead of the little spinner type nut, it uses a standard hex nut that you can tighten with a nut driver, but that's three millimeter. Uh, this pulley here with the O-ring on it, that's three millimeter. And this O-ring down here is to go on that pulley so you can have another uh, method of friction driving something. Um, or you can uh, put your O-ring 
on a uh, plastic wheel and then use it from the friction like that. So there's so many different options. Here's a coupler for a radio controlled boat, uh, three millimeter on one end and then four, that's the three and then four on this end. So it's an instant adapter. So there's lots of options. It's real easy to use these motors. They're easy to mount. Uh, they do come with the screws. I've got a huge bag of all of these screws. I've got different styles. Some of them are the flathead and some of them are the socket head cap screw like that. Now you could not use the socket head cap screw with that pulley because the pulley would rub on it. Uh, but uh, they'll work for anything else. So again the motors come with the three screws and the leads are either uh, just red and black wire or uh, some have the uh, miniature PV connector crimped on there which again is pretty much useless because it's missing the, the black plastic housing that these would snap into. So uh, I would just go ahead and cut those off and uh, just solder some more wire onto it and then you can do whatever you want with it. But anyway, thanks for looking. Uh, hopefully this will give you a little more information about the motor so you can make an informed decision. Thank you.